Hi, I'm Maureen Seba. I live and work in Texas. I'm a Golden Artist Color Certified Working Artist. I wanna to talk to you today about this new product that Golden just came out with. And I have fallen in love with these paints. I wanted to show you some techniques that you can do with them today. This is an acrylic high flow drawing set. So if you're familiar with Golden, you know that this is the classic heavy body. If you've never used Golden paint, then you have a surprise waiting for you. So if I push it out of the tube, you see it doesn't move. It holds its peaks and valleys so that it'll show your brush strokes. Now Golden also make several other viscosities, one of which is fluid. So this is ultramarine in heavy body. Ultramarine in fluid has the viscosity of thick cream. Now the high flow acrylic, You see how fast it flows? It looks like ink, it acts like ink, except that it comes in so many beautiful colors. This is why I like these so much. Now, just like the heavy body and the fluid paints that Golden makes, you can mix your colors just as you would with any other paint. Originally, these colors uh, were formulated to be used with airbrush, but in 2013, they changed the formula just a bit and the high flow colors now replace the airbrush colors that Golden used to make. So you can put the high flow colors in an airbrush. I'm going to show you a few different techniques that you can use with these paints. And one of my favorites is staining wood. So I'm going to take this high flow. This is a beautiful color. When you first get the paints and you open them up, I like to put a little bead, any kind of bead, or a washer, or a tiny screw, or something that can help to mix the paint in case it settles. Make sure it's closed and shake it back and forth like this. Just lightly so that the little carborundum, uh, the bead mixes in there. And now I'm gonna show you this beautiful staining quality that the paints have. Ooh, look at that turquoise. It looks almost black. Then I'm gonna take a brush because obviously you can use these with a brush. Ooh, oh, that's so nice. And you don't wanna ever add more than 20% water because it can change the perfect ratio of binding to pigment. You wanna use this high flow medium. So I'm gonna put a little high flow medium in a cup. You can use any amount of medium that you want. The more medium, it will make your paint more transparent, but it will not reduce the binding. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So smooth. This paint is a delight to work with. Look at that. Ooh. You can also mix these high flow paints into any of the golden gels and pastes. So if you have molding paste, you can put a little bit in there. The molding paste acts a little bit as a white. Beautiful high flow paints tint the gels and paste. Look at this. Oh, I love this. I love these smooth strokes I can make here. Ooh, one more. Now, once I have a nice coat or two it really only takes one coat, but sometimes I like to add another coat of paint. And once it's dry, and I can take a golden watercolor, if you spray the watercolor with varnish, with their MSA varnish, I'm going to apply some soft gel gloss onto the back, the back of my watercolor paper, and then I can adhere my watercolor. 
There we go. Ooh. In your drawing kit, if you purchase one of these drawing kits, it comes with markers, three different markers with different nibs. And they're, they're refillable, so you can change your colors in them, use them over and over again. This is one. I've put two different colors of high flow in here. I've put some anthroquinone blue and some green gold. And so it makes this kind of a dark, almost a, a Jenkins green type. Something else I love to do with the high flow paint, I like to put it in these little fine liner pens. You can use it on Bristol. It works really well on Bristol. It's fast drying, easy to tape things off. And then when you paint over them, you can pull the tape off without bleeding. The high flow dries within five minutes and it doesn't stick to the tape or the frisket so that when you pull it up, you rip off half your painting. I'm gonna use titanium white and then I'm gonna use some other beautiful colors that come in this kit, gold and copper. And I think there's a silver here. I like to draw roller coasters. You see what a nice, smooth, straight line I can get with this. Oh, I love painting with these fine liner, drawing with these fine liner markers. Not only do you get straight lines, but of course you can get any kind of line with them. I'm going to put a little gold in here now. And now I'm going to use my brush. So you can draw right on top of this. Draw, paint. Look at that, when I thin it out, what happens? Very fun. Ooh, I could play with this all day long. But I wouldn't get to show the other techniques I have to show you, so. Something that's perfect are pen and ink pads or Bristol for using the high flow to draw. Now, I started this rocket ship. I'm going to paint this rocket ship for you with a calligraphy pen. I have two different types. I have a, a steel brush and then I have a, a different nib here. Two different nibs. And I also have this liner. If you've never used a liner and you want straight lines, you gotta try this with your high flow paint. I'll pour some indigo. This color also comes in your kit. I could use it straight out of the bottle, but I like to use a cup, a little more control I have with it. That is fairly precise. I'll try my calligraphy pen, see how that goes. I can get thick and thin lines. Once we finish drawing, we can add some marker. This is another marker that comes in the kit. I put some iridescent gold paint in it. Sometimes you've got to get it started. I like to make dots with the markers, as you can see. 
but you can make any kind of lines with it. And then put another marker that comes in the kit. As you can see, it's got a beveled edge or an angle. I'm gonna make some fire here. Coming out of the rocket, I'm gonna pour directly from the high flow onto this. Ooh, look at this now. This is when it gets fun. I'll put some gray, neutral gray for smoke. I always clean the tops of my bottles because the acrylic won't dry on them then. It just makes it easier when you want to paint. Oof. Got a little yellow mixed in there, which I kind of like. So you can also spray. Let's take some copper. Copper spray in a Derwent spritzer. This rocket is taking off. So many different things that one can do with the high flow viscosity paint. So I'll put this aside for now. So I saved one of my favorite techniques for last, and that's painting on Duralar paper. It's very similar to photo paper that you might put in your copier, but it's archival and you can find it at art supply stores. I really enjoy painting on it with these high flow paints. They just, they, the paper and the high flow paints work magic. So I have a little dog and he brings me these sticks. When he brings me these sticks, I think, well, he wants me to paint with them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by dipping in one of my sticks that he brought. I'm going to start a jellyfish. Everybody likes jellyfish, except when they sting, right? Look at the fun marks I can make with this stick. Now I'm going to wet the paper, just a little water, and look what happens when I touch where I've just drawn. Ooh, magic, magic. I can also draw on this paper with my calligraphy pen. I'm going to have a different color now. A color that comes in one of the kits is teal. That's so beautiful. It doesn't take but a second, but it's worth it. Look at this. Oh. So rather than, oh. Gosh, this is so fun. I can almost not stop doing it. Look, look when you drop into that high flow, what happens? It's, it's really like magic. And now we can add a little fine liner. And instead of finishing this, I'll show you one that I completed yesterday. So you can see how it looks when it's all finished. Thanks for joining me and uh, letting me show you some of the things that I really love about Golden High Flow Acrylics. Check your art supply store or Michaels or purchase it online. These wonderful Golden High Flow Acrylic Paint drawing kits are so much fun and they'll make fabulous gifts. Your artist friends will love you for it. Thank you.